Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create these funny glass bathroom storage jars using some dollar store jars and some 651 vinyl to create decals to stick on them. These were quite fun and really easy to create. I will leave all of my supplies listed in the description box below. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up if you love this video. Now let's get started. Okay guys, some of you might think this is funny. I hope none of you take this offensively, but I thought this was funny. I created these in the past and they did really well for me when I was selling them at the two stores that I'm in. So I just wanted to show you guys really quick how to make these. So I already started the design here. Um, obviously you guys probably know what this means. The balls deep is, you know, cotton balls. The crack cleaners is, you know, the toothpicks and then just the tip is Q-tips. So I know they have another one that was called like rubbers or something like that, um, but I'm not going to do that one. It's up to you if you guys want to continue and go with other ones, but these are the ones that I'm going to be using. Please don't take it offensively. If you do, I'm sorry to skip to the next video. I definitely will not be having these in my uh, bathroom because of kids, but I think it's definitely pretty funny. So I just did four of these really quick. They're just they're the same they're written out just the same but I just changed the font on these so if you guys are interested in the fonts I will leave the just I will leave the fonts in the description below and then this one these black and white ones I did the offset I've never worked with that before so it's kind of fun to do I'll show you really quick so this is the back part and then this is the part that goes on top so it's going to be interesting for me to line these up when I put them on my glass um I've never done it before so I'm really excited I'm really glad that Cricut you know started a new thing on here so it looks like a lot of fun so with that being said i'm just going to show you the first one here balls deep uh how to do this uh, once you learn how to do the first one you'll learn how to do the next one so the first thing you want to do is go to the text box here and type in whatever you want to write so i'm just going to put balls deep <laughs> so my husband walked in here before when i was doing this and he's like what in the world are you doing <laughs> So I had to kind of explain to him what it was. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of funny for me to be doing. So I have this part selected. I'm going to go to the alignment and I'm going to click center. So as you can see, there is a bit of a gap in here, but the first thing you want to do is actually change the font if you want to change the font, because once you, you know, ungroup these, you can't change the font anymore. So I'm going to go up to the font box up here and I'm just going to randomly pick one. So, uh, cause I'm, I'm only doing this just to show you guys. So I'm going to go to this Gil Sands one. We'll see what that one looks like. That's not too bad. So as you can see, there's still a huge gap here. So with the selected, I'm going to go up to the line space up here and I'm just going to click the down arrow until I get to where I want it to go. And now I can change the size. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change this to be 2.5 by 3. And so this is how it is. That's how I did all of these. And then also with the offset here, the only thing that I did was actually take this and then I duplicated it just so I could have two of them. So the way to do the offset is you just click on whichever one you want to use, click on the offset, and then you can, you, you know, use your mouse and figure out how big you want it. So I'm, you can see it here, the blue, um, outline on it. So if I go larger, it's going to do a huge outline. I just want a little bit of an outline. So I'm just going to do 0.125 and then I'm going to click apply. So here is the original one and then here's the one for the back. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one and I'm going to change the color of this one because I don't want it to cut out the same color. So I'm going to do white. So I'm going to go to the color box and then change it white. And then here it is. So you can see how it looks now. So you can do the offset however you want as as you know th thick or as thin as you want it but I like how these ones look so it's all up to you how you want to do it but I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm also going to get rid of this one because I don't, I'm not going to cut those out. So when you go to cut this one out it's going to cut the black and then it's going to cut the white separate and then you have to put these together after it's all done. And I'm just using Dollar Tree glass containers and I'll show you that when I'm putting it together but they had a multiple selection but I just picked out one that I really liked. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Um, the last thing I did actually before I go is I changed the color of these because I'm going to be doing them separate. So if I had it all black, it would just cut out on one piece of, 
of black uh, vinyl. So whatever color you want to do it, here's the time to color uh, to change the color now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on make it. It's going to tell me my lar my project is a little bit larger. Um, but now that I resized everything to the 3 by 2.5, I'm good to go. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So here's the white one. And then here's the offset one that goes with it. And then you got these other ones here. So these are going to cut out in different colors. Um, I know I'm going to leave these black and white. And I think I'm going to leave this one a gold. But I haven't decided yet. But I like doing this so that you can, you know, have different colors and different options. So I'm going to click continue. And then I'll show you which one, which setting I always use. So I just use this stencil vinyl right here. I don't use a lot of Cricut brand. I really don't care for Cricut brand. So I'm just going to click on the stencil vinyl one. And I'm going to make sure I have my fine point blade in. And I highly recommend having a sharp blade in there. Otherwise, you're going to go through a lot of vinyl. I just bought a pack of blades. I think it was 36 blades for $7. So I'll leave that in the link below in case you're looking for some new ones. So I'm going to finish this. I'm going to cut it out. I'll weed it out. And then I'll show you my little containers I'm using and how to apply it to it. So here are my files. I finished with these. This is just the white vinyl one, and then this is the offset that goes with it. So these are gonna go together. And then here's one of the more simpler ones. Um, so I'm gonna show you what they look like. So here are, I'll show you the regular ones. So here are the Dollar Tree uh, jars that I grab. And then here's what it looks like. So this one says Balls Deep. I'll show you actually a better one. So this one here is finished. So this one has the um, cotton balls in it already. And then I have one done that says just the tips. So it's just Q-tips. And then this one over here says uh, crack cleaners, but unfortunately I don't have any toothpicks in here, so I'll have to get some of those, but I wanted to show you what it looked like. So then you just take a piece of transfer tape, I have one here, and I already have one cut out, and you just put it on top of your file, and then use your squeegee and press it in here really well. And then I always like to work backwards to see if all my pieces come up. Perfect. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you first, because I already did this, is take a cotton ball with some alcohol. I'll do it really quick. Just take a cotton ball or a piece of paper towel, whatever you might have, and just rub this down really well. So I'm just going to do the front of it, and this ensures that it's nice and clean, and then it, your uh, vinyl is going to have a nice bond to it. So I already have this done for these, so I'm just going to show you really quick. Um, two things. So on the side, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but you can tell this is the side part and then also over here. So I'm just going to hold it with my two fingers here so I can tell this is the side and that's the side and where the center part is. So now I can tell this is the center because my two fingers are right here holding the side. So you just want to take your file and I'm looking at the bottom part here and I'm going to just line the bottom part up so it's nice and straight. And then once you've got it on, just push it over with your fingers. Give it a little push with your thumb. Make sure it goes in really well to your jar. And then peel back. Whoops. And if that happens, just can go back and push it. There we go. So just the tips of cotton ball or um, Q-tips will go in here. So I thought that was kind of funny. So for the next part, I want to show you this. So this is the offset one and this is the part that goes on top. So I'm gonna take the part that goes on top, I'm gonna use my same piece of transfer tape and do the same process. Oh, my pee's coming up on here. And do the same process. So just put this down. Use my little squeaky. Again, I like to work backwards, make sure everything comes off. Perfect. And then the trickier part is to find the center of this. So try to hold this as I do it. And I'm just trying to find the center where everything will line up. Whoa, I kind of like that. That's neat. So here is what the offset looks like. That's pretty cool. So again, just take your squeegee and work really well to get all the pieces together. And then peel back everything. So I, again, I like to work upside down. Now it's going to look like black because that's your bottom part to it. Perfect. Everything came up. And then it's just the same process. Just putting your fingers, you know, on each side so you can kind of tell where the middle part is here. And then just lining it up. Again, I'm taking the TIP at the bottom. 
and I'm lining it up with the bottom part so it goes on nice and straight. And then once you get it, just use your fingers. And now you want to push in really hard so that it stays on. There. And then just peel back your transfer tape. Wow, I'm really liking this new feature that they have. I've never used it before, so this is kind of cool. But this pea does not want to come up. Or I mean, it is coming up, it doesn't want to stick down. There we go. So there, just the tip. So I have to work with this a little bit. I do have a bubble right here because I went a little bit high on the top up here. So always watch out where it's got a little rim here. So I'm just going to go back and work on this. I'll just probably peel it up a little bit on the side here and then get that bubble piece out. I know people say, you know, they can use like a, a pin or something, but I don't like putting marks in here. So I just kind of try to peel it up and push it back down so that's much better. Otherwise, another way is uh, heat, using a hair dryer and giving just on um, low heat, just a little bit of heat, and then pushing it down as you go will take away the bubbles as well. So there is the offset one. I really like this one a lot better, so let's find the other one. Here, so if you can see this one, kind of like the offset one a lot better. But that is it with this. So next, I think, to finish this off, just to give it a... a finished look, I'm going to take some jute and just put it around the top. So I just got this from Walmart. It's just a natural jute cord and I'm just going to take it and just tie it around and probably use some hot glue to tie the, to glue the ends here, but you want to make sure you take your cover off first so you can see where this is. But I figure I'd just do it to give it a nice little finished look. So I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to finish the rest of them up and then I'll show you what it all looks like when it's all finished. Oh my goodness, guys, I love how these turn out. I created a few more of these funny bathroom containers since I finished this video. I finished it up by using some jute around the top of the container, and I really love how this makes a finishing look. I just filled them up with cotton balls, Q-tips, and teeth flossers to finish the look. I can't wait to get these in the craft fairs this summer. I know they'll be a hot item as they sell really well at the stores I have them listed in. I hope you learned something new, and I hope you will create these funny bathroom containers by yourself. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Happy crafting, everyone!